Hey guys, so this is my mobile cam video. After some experimentation, I finally figured out a way to get a mobile cam to work, but it's, it's very limited by a few different factors. I'll try and cover those as we go. Right here in this particular portion of the video, I'm going to just show you what to get started with, which is a basic concrete block, a very specific set of stairs. The other stairs don't work as well because they might work on a one level build, but just trust me, don't use the big giant stairs, okay? Just use the little simple stairs to get up into your camp because the others don't stack and it's complicated and they cause support issues later on. They also eat up a little bit more of your internal space anyway, so they're not a good deal. So you're going to place down your one concrete block, you're going to connect a specific set of stairs to it, and then you're going to put a floor connected to the top of those stairs called an upper floor. Once you get that upper floor on top of your stairs, from there you can just build out a normal camp, well, a very small camp, because the blueprint budget is very small. The camp budget is huge compared to it. I mean, you'll see in a minute, later on in the video, that a mobile camp in the form of one blueprint has to be very, very small. So this is the stair I'm talking about. Use these stairs. I like to connect them the way I'm about to do, but you could do it other ways if you want. <clears throat> so you've got a block and you've got those stairs. You go up, select a upper floor, place it down. In this video I had a little bit of trouble getting it to snap to the top of the stairs, but it will. It just takes a little bit of work, you know, just wiggle around, you'll get it to snap on there. There we go. Now, once you're up here, that's it. This is the structure that you need to create a mobile camp. So what you do, connected to that floor up there, is you just put down more floors next to it. You build some walls, build some ceilings, plop in some beds and crafting tables, whatever, but keep it minimal, super minimalistic, because you'll see in a minute, there's just not much room in it. So that's what I do now in the videos. I'm gonna connect a bunch of floors. I'm not gonna show it all. I'm gonna go from this to a fully <laughs> constructed little box house up here. So I'm just trying to line everything up in this crazy cantankerous editor. It's very difficult to use. There are some issues. I kind of want to cover them as they come up with the game creating its own blueprint within the stored tab you don't want to use that blueprint. You want to use, test, and use the one that you created and saved by your individual name. Because that is, after all, what we're trying to do here. The stored tab blueprint is going to change every time you pick up your camp because it's created by the game. So up here I'm at the top of my little box that I created, and I got up here in order to bloop blueprint stuff easier, but these stairs and these two pieces of floor were not actually part of my build. They, I just built them in order to crawl up here so that I can now start blueprinting these objects one by one, being very careful and very meticulous. When you're blueprinting power conductors, the wire is included, so you don't have to blueprint the wire. I don't even know if you can. I know I did try it first, but if you blueprint two conductors, the wire between them is automatically blueprinted as well. So I'm blueprinting my turrets, and then I'm just going to fall off the side here onto the patio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blueprint my small objects first, because if you don't, they disappear into the background once those walls and ceilings and stuff turn white. It's easier to tell if they're selected and therefore blueprinted right now while everything is still brown and dark behind it. If you blueprint your floors and walls first, everything's washed out and you can't tell what's been blueprinted. Okay, so now I've blueprinted all of my small objects. I'm gonna start with the walls now. I blueprint all the walls individually making sure like that that I don't miss one by accident because if you do, you're gonna have floating objects that aren't supported by that floor or wall or ceiling or whatever it might be. If you forget to blueprint the ceiling on which a turret sits, 
it ain't gonna work. Oh, I missed a light. See, I like to do the lights ahead of time so you can see them snap into the white color. Boop, and now they're selected. If that w ceiling behind it was white, it's much harder because you can't tell if it's selected or not. It's very difficult. But a turret must have a floor or a ceiling underneath it or it's going to be counted as floating and that blueprint will never be able to snap into the world. It just it can't. It's floating. Same thing with power conductors. Make sure you have the wall, ceiling, whatever that that power conductor is connected to. Make sure you have it selected as well in your blueprint. So now I've got all my small objects, all my wars, uh, walls, floors, and ceilings selected. They're all white. I'm double checking. I'm looking around. The lights are selected. I'm going to hit the front porch. Select that. Make sure they're all white. Boom. Only I see if you notice my blueprint budget in the top right corner, the blue one is almost full already, and there's like nothing in this blueprint. And when I hit this concrete block, boom, that's it. I might be able to squeeze in one more item, like one more light, one more turret, one more something. And from what I can tell, all of the items are equally sized, so they uh, pretty much count the same towards the blueprint budget. This is the maximum amount <laughs> that you're going to be able to save as a mobile camp. You can do multiples of these. If you notice my normal camp budget up there, I could build four of these things in separate blueprints and then lay them all down. You know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So then you save the blueprint and then we're going to go to the big test, which is I'm going to replace my camp in the world and this camp is going to disappear and be put into my stored tab in the form of a game created blueprint we'll get into that in a second but it uses up it counts those materials against you so to speak so in a moment I'm gonna pull up that blueprint that I just made I'm gonna go to the blueprints tab I'm gonna get this thing out of my way first of all because it can cause problems the little camp machine move it off to the side of your boundary okay get it out of the way because it can uh, cause problems when trying to place things so I go to the blueprint oh, here's the stored tab blueprint I go to the blueprint tab and I go to my final small 01 and you see that it's white saying I can't, you can't place this. Why? Oh, because I don't have enough aluminum. That's because they've stored all of the components I used to make this blueprint in my fucking stored tab. So I have to go to my stored tab to that little game made blueprint in the top right you'll see it's called Camp Blueprint. It's using up all the materials for that blueprint. It's not giving you credit for them. So you have to, I personally delete that blueprint so that I can test my personal blueprint in the blueprint tab to make sure it works. So I'm going to delete this by hitting X, delete prudent, uh, blueprint and store all components. Yes, you're still storing all the components. You're not losing anything. The only thing you're deleting is the blueprint that the game made, just the blueprint not the materials. Now I go to the blueprints tab and look, boom, voila, like magic. A second ago this could not be built, but now it can because I have retrieved all those materials from my stored tab. With me? I hope that you understood that. I'm having a little trouble explaining things today. As you can see, this can snap in almost anywhere. I mean, anywhere that one concrete block can snap in, I can build this little battle tower, or whatever you want to call it. So, Make sure that if it's showing that you can't build it, that you go to the stored tab and delete the game created blueprint. Because you want to use your blueprint at the bottom, at the top right, you'll see it's named Final Small 01. That's the name I created. So I want to test the blueprint that I made because the blueprint that the game makes in the stored tab will change every time you move your camp it's going to take a snapshot of what you have built there so it's not reliable you know you can't store something there permanently and forever uh, a blueprint wise anyway because it's going to create its own every time you move your camp you want a blueprint in this tab the blueprints tab that works that is the bulk of your camp or not really it's tiny but i mean like that is a battle tower that you want to have pre-built that you can plop down anywhere in the world, and this is how do. So I'm just trying to line up that concrete block now, getting is getting it as low as I can to the ground, so that the stairs are naturally on the ground. That's what all that movement was about. So now there you go. I've got a little box cabin up there, 
very basic, very rudimentary, but it snaps in as long as you have the materials by deleting the crap out of the, uh, the stored tab and so on. And by being very careful and meticulous when you're blueprinting those objects so that none of them are floating in midair. Turrets, power conductors, lights, everything has to be connected to something that you're blueprinting. All right? So it can't be left floating in the air for any reason. Every single thing has to be selected. And therefore, it's just very hard to fit a very fancy camp within the blueprint limit because the blueprint limit is tiny. I think it must be like 30 objects or something. It's ridiculously small. I mean, look at this place. It's got floors, ceilings, walls, one of each crafting table, and three beds, and two lights, four turrets. That's it. A very simplistic build in it, and as you saw earlier in the video, it was a maximum blueprint budget. So this, what you're looking at, is pretty much all you're going to be able to blueprint and place throughout the world. Now you could have multiples of these, but it kind of sucks having to leave one section of your base to go to another section of your base. I mean, I don't know how you could split it up, but it could be done, I suppose. Well, anyway, this one works copy it or hell I can build it for you in your camp and then all you have to do is blueprint it and save it this is a functional mobile cam it's just the best you can do right now in the current fallout settings I hope that they improve it and expand on it a little bit and let us save a little bit larger blueprints I hope this helped you man